Mentoring is a critical factor to foster the STEM learning experience of teens and young adults and to support them towards STEM career pathways. For this reason, one of the goals of the Massachusetts STEM Council and Metro West STEM Education Network is to promote STEM mentoring programs. Joining us today are the co-creators for See Yourself in STEM Mentoring Program. We have Lee and we have Evan joining us today. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. No problem. And joining us as well as our student ambassadors. Ladies, thank you for being here as well. Thank you. No problem. So Lee, we're gonna jump into the background of See Yourself in STEM, why this program was created. See Yourself in STEM mentorship program was created to connect students with local issues in their communities. We hope to help these students look at these local, local issues that are important to them and with help from mentors who are local STEM professionals, connect these issues to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And why, Lee, was this a program that you thought was important and why did you want to start this type of a program? So the McAuliffe Center, which is where I work, and a recent college graduate, I know a lot about the importance of mentors in young STEM professionals' lives, and especially in students' lives. And so starting this program was a way for me to really give back to what I feel like I learned as a student from my own mentors. Excellent. And Evan, would you like to jump in and talk a little bit of uh, the goals of this program? Sure. Um, so the See Yourself and STEM Team Mentorship is kind of broken up into two major parts. We can break it up by semester. The fall semester is all about um, learning about these UN Sustainable Goals, uh, making that local connection, uh, and our students will either identify like an issue within the community or, or a dream that they have uh, for their community and document that and create about a two minute video that explains um, their vision for their community. And then in the spring, um, working with their mentors, they will develop that vision into a, a plan that they're able to execute um, at the end of the school year in June. Um, we're hoping that um, through this process, through the spring, um, as they're working with their mentors, they'll also be developing a uh, application to the Lemonson MIT Invent Teams Foundation, uh, which is a grant which will help them, um, should they apply to it, get funding, um, they'll be able to receive funding to implement um, their dreams or their visions for their community. And girls, do you want to talk a little bit now about what is important in this program to you and what others can expect as they go through this program. Lexi, if you'd like to start. So something that you can expect from this program is being able to use the skills that you have, when, uh, that you learn with the STEM mentorship program because you can learn leadership skills and you learn how to better research some things. Like, I know through high school, you have to do research papers, but with the STEM mentorship program, you're able to go research more, and it's out of the box thinking as well, because you have to think of and prepare for what the community needs. That's amazing. I, I love that response. Now, what made you want to get involved in this program? Um, I'm interested in having a STEM career. And I also think that it's always good to give back to the community Excellent. and try to prevent like pollution and extra waste that does not need to happen. Thank you so much. You're making my world better. <laughs> Thank you. And Zavana, can you talk a little bit about what you feel is important in this program? Sure. So this is a mentorship program that's deeply centered around the idea of teamwork and working together in collaboration. So you're not getting talked at, but you're actually having a conversation with your mentors. And that was really important to me when joining this group because I feel like, you know, six hours in the day, you're getting filled with lectures and 
filled with all these presentations where you're not really given the chance to speak with your teachers. So I really like that the See Yourself in STEM program allows that to happen. Excellent. I really enjoyed what you said when you said teamwork, because it does take a village to grow this community. So having everybody involved from the McAuliffe Center to the educators, to the mentors, and then the students, it's a great combination. Kudos to you, Lee and Evan, and to the students, to the mentors, everybody for being involved. And Evan, would you like to talk a little bit about the timeline of this program? Sure. Um, so it begins on uh, September 29th. Uh, so we'll have weekly meetings. Each meeting, um, each, uh, each week begins um, from 4 until about 5.30. Um, those meetings are facilitated by Mapala Center staff. Um, and then uh, our mentors are going to be paired with uh, groups of students. And our mentors, while they're from STEM industry, they're not all just scientists that are in a lab. So Lexi, what do you feel, uh, how do you feel when you are being able to listen and interact with all these STEM professionals? When we were all talking and discussing our ideas, I thought it was very interesting to hear what they think and how they think I should change my idea or adapt it. To, to make sure it's actually achievable and not just an idea, but something that can happen. Excellent. And Zavanna, have you um, thought of the process and some of the ideas that maybe you found in the community that relate to the UN? So I think this year especially, um, the idea of misrepresentation in the Black community is something that I definitely want to bring awareness to. And the fact that people of color aren't really represented in STEM, in STEM careers. And Lexi, if you were to speak directly to some of the students in the Metro West area, what would you want to tell some of the students to encourage them to join this program? If you are interested in anything STEM related, it's very good for you to learn these skills. Plus it also looks very good on college resumes and it shows that you're interested in STEM work and that you're willing to put extra time and effort into it. Right. And Zavanna, do you want to add to any of that? It's a great place to network. Um, this is a group that brings together various schools, grades, backgrounds. And while that may seem intimidating to many people, I think it's really important to bring those skills to your, to your skill set. Yeah. yeah, I saw a, a good quote the other day that said, when a leader enters the room, other leaders get inspired. So I think that's what will happen if you're involved with this program. Our future is in good hands with young students like we have here today and with mentors and such good guidance from the McAuliffe Center. If you want more information about See Yourself in STEM, visit MetroWestSTEM.com or send your email to Evan. For Beyond the Beat, I'm Frank Morello, encouraging you to get up, go out, and be inspired.